Don't worry, nothing is what it seems here in South Africa. This is not what you think it is. <laughs> Good morning internet, it is 8 o'clock in the morning and welcome back to the channel. I'm just having my breakfast now and with some cereals and with fresh figs from the garden here. I am now still in the hell, the hell here in South Africa. Um, after I finish my breakfast I will show you on the map what is the plan for today. And when I leave I'm going to tell you a little bit more about this place as promised in the last video. All right, so I am now right here in this part of South Africa in the hell and I have to ride back the same way as I came in and then I'm gonna ride here towards Kalitsdorp and then I'll continue to this area of South Africa. Look, there are some animal prints here. Some cat has been sleeping on Savannah last night. All right, let's do this. My little cute cottage. So today's ride will be about 240 kilometers. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. He gave me a scare. Oh, another one. Um, most of it will be unpaved, dirt. So it should be nice. So now, finally, as promised, I was going to tell you a little bit more about this place. First of all, why it is called the hell is actually because life was just really tough here. For about 150 years, there used to be about 26 families living here at the height of this place. And they lived here in complete isolation. There was no access road. This access road that I took in was only built in the 60s. But people started living here like from 1830 onwards. So in those days, there was no road. So to get in and out, people had to walk over the following the dry riverbed towards Kalitsdorp, where I'm riding now. So the people that lived there had to be completely self-sustaining. There was no help or anything from the outside. They just lived here in total isolation. They were homeschooling their kids and all of that. And they pretty much had no idea what was going on on the outside as well. So life was pretty tough down here, which is why they start calling this place the hell. And actually all the burnt trees that you saw in the last video, and that I'll be passing now again, they have nothing to do with the hell. And it's actually the first fire that ever happened here. That fire happened a year and a half ago, and they think it was because somebody threw a cigarette out of the window, because fires here normally don't happen. Anyway, after the road was finally built in the 60s, people started to leave this place. And in the early 90s, everybody was gone. And most of the people sold their properties to Cape Res uh, Conservation. And the place where I stayed last night, that belongs to the only family that is still here, or actually came back here, uh, also in the early 90s. So they're the only one, original descendants of the people that used to live here, that still own property here. And uh, yeah, all of the other land is now owned by Cape Conservation, which is a uh, state owned. Let me get through this sand. Back through the burnt place, what a shame, hey? It'll really take a long time for this ecosystem to recover from that fire. Well, even though it's burnt, it is still beautiful here in the morning sun, I gotta say. Okay, now starts the beginning of the climb. I guess this is the most hectic part of, of the way.
somewhere here there's another sharp hairpin, I think. Where was it now? <laughs> Not here yet. one. Yes, I knew it was somewhere here. Oh, it's so lovely with the morning sun. I just love riding in the mornings, especially in hotter places like this, that in the morning it's so nice and cool. And you get the beautiful light. Oh, it's the best. I made it out of the hell. I went to hell and back with my little Savannah. So now I'm going to cross the Schwarzburg Pass again. And after that, I'll take a right turn to another gravel road that goes to Kalitzdorf. That view just doesn't get old, hey? Hi. And then the other side. Oh, <laughs> so awesome. Hi. Oh, some, what is it? Cabbage. Very cute little farms everywhere here. Hi, kitties. Hi. <laughs> Definitely a lot of. A lot more people live on this side of the mountains than on the other side in the hell. It's also a lot wider here, so I guess this valley must have always been a lot more accessible. Oh, hello. Look, ostriches. Hi guys! Oh, you're not shy at all. Aren't they just beautiful birds? So that must be the female and then the dark one, the male. For as far as I know, ostriches. Beautiful. This is stunning.
So I arrived in Kalitsdorp. Let's find a petrol station to fill up. I actually didn't need my spare fuel, which is good. But I'm glad I brought the spare fuel anyway, because just for the peace of mind that it gives you, it's worth bringing. Oh, there it is. All right. All filled up. Some church here. Let's hit the next dirt road. Wow, very pretty here with all these flowers. Everything is blossoming Oh, I love riding in the Karoo It is just awesome Awesome, awesome Look at this view Check this out, wow. I am all alone in the Karoo. There is nobody on this road. Can you believe this area? How incredible, stunning this is. Wow, there's actually a farm down there. Incredible, imagine living there. It's also pretty isolated. I reached the R62 This is actually quite a famous road as well And I'm going to follow this for another 43 kilometers And then I should reach uh, my destination for today Look at poor Savannah <laughs> Oh, it has been such a dusty ride But until now it was all gravel so I've done 200 k's dirt and now it'll be 40 uh, unpaved so it's been taking me quite a while because it's now two o'clock and i've just been riding 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 oh there's a restaurant here that's nice reception See if they have something for me. All right, I found accommodation, and it's going to be, I think, a first on this channel where I am staying. <laughs> I don't think I've ever stayed in a place like that before. All right, this will be my home. This little caravan <laughs> let's check it out <laughs> I have a little kitchen perfect and then this will be my bed for tonight 
I love it. Oh, hot, hot, hot. Just uh, dropped my stuff and uh, the restaurant is closed or it will open tonight for dinner but I didn't have a lunch yet so um, I have to go somewhere else to get some food and well there is one famous famous place literally a few k's from here which I'm going to check out now So quite a, that's a bit of an institution here in South Africa. Everybody goes there. Here it is. Don't worry, nothing is what it seems here in South Africa. This is not what you think it is. <laughs> this is actually a restaurant. Hi. Good and you? Are you Ronnie? Yeah. Nice to meet you. you Thanks. What I, do with you? I came looking for food. Kitchen's closed today. Kitchen's closed today. Where are you from? Netherlands. Where are you going? I don't know. That way. That way. <laughs> Next time, 26. Uh -huh. 26 kilometer. I'm so hungry. <laughs> no, you have it. I don't want to rob you from your food. All right, Ronnie, enjoy your sandwich. <laughs> See you. All right, Ronnie does not have food. Disappointed with Ronnie now. So, and it's uh, three o'clock and I don't feel like riding 26 Ks. So I'll just go back, there's a small shop, buy some cookies or whatever, and then last till six. It is what it is. But uh, the story with uh, Ronnie's shop is that Ronnie opened the shop there and he called it Ronnie's shop. But then business just did not kick off. And then one night, some of his friends, as a kind of joke, painted one extra word on his shop. And business was booming. <laughs> anyway, um, that was it for today then. Um, I really hope you liked this video. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up and subscribe down below. And then I'll see you in the next video.